Okay guys, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the lean meats and proteins that I use throughout the week. I always have chicken breast, turkey breast, ground chicken and turkey on hand in my freezer to pull out at any time. It saves a ton of time. You don't have to cut it up or clean it. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna show you here what I start with. I've just cut this up into three ounce or four ounce pieces. Four ounces just because my husband uses a bigger portion size than I do, but I've just got them seasoned out into different ways. Some basil and oregano, oregano on one and some garlic and onion powder on the other. Two plainer looking ones there. And then here I've got that same dressing that I showed you guys in the last video, the salsa ranch. Just a tablespoon on each chicken breast and then hot sauce on the other one. You'll notice that I use hot sauce on a lot of my stuff and to be honest at the end of the day probably when these come out and onto my plate I'll probably add hot sauce to almost everything and you guys can feel free to do that too if you like hot sauce. So what I do with that is I just grab the Ziploc freezer bags, pop them in here and I freeze them raw in my freezer in their portion sizes and then when I'm ready um, or the night before I just unthaw what I'm going to be using the next day. Or you guys can also go ahead and cook these and then put them right into your Ziploc containers and then have them all ready for your meal the next day also. But I only usually cook it for about one, two at most because I do have the time to throw this on. It only takes four or five minutes to cook, so I do have that. As long as I've got everything portioned out, cut up and ready to go, then I find throwing it on for five minutes, it is, I've got the time to do that. I do also have on hand some ground turkey and I've cut up some peppers and onions and put some different spices in there. I've used for the whole package about two tablespoons of egg whites just to hold it together. And then I literally just grab a handful of oats, throw it in, mix it all up and then portion them all out. I have this in my fridge all the time just in case I can't make one of the meals that's on the meal plan. I pull these out, throw them in, and then they cook really fast also. And then again, I've got my carbohydrate with it and everything ready to go. I also want to go over with you guys the different types of almond milks, uh, cashew milk, and coconut milks that I use. So I use these things for shakes and I also use them for breakfast. You'll notice them a lot of times in the recipes that I have given you guys throughout the next eight weeks. So make sure when you're grabbing these things that you're really looking for unsweetened because they're almost identical. Everything on the package is the same, so it's an easy mistake to make. Make sure that it's unsweetened. It makes a big difference. There's lots of loaded sugars in the other packages. What I do with this, you can see my breakfasts I have portioned out here. So this is some of the breakfasts that um, I've got on your meal plans already for this week. So it's just a third cup of oats and a half cup of frozen berries that I have in there. So you can season it with um, just some cinnamon or I've got here like a little bit of nutmeg. So just put a little bit of that in. And then what I do is the night before I just pour a little bit, probably not even a quarter of a cup into the bottom. You can do a little bit more if you want. This stuff is so low calorie, so if you want to use a little bit more, you can. And then once that's in, you can come up and take a close up of that if you like. Um, once that's in there, all I do, throw the lids on, throw it in the fridge, and you can take that out and you can eat it cold. It's great that way. My husband loves it that way. Or you can heat it up for a few minutes in the microwave. Good, ready to go. So the next thing, just a quick mention is I've got egg whites in your plans quite frequently. Easiest is to grab the carton egg whites instead of separating and throwing out the yolks from the other ones. Just saves a lot of time in your day. So I'm going to stop right there. In the next video, we're going to go over your complex carbohydrates and how to get them prepared.